Dre, always, always, always great to see you. Today, before I jump into making some smoothies and packing a whole bunch of nutrients into our bodies, I want to start with gratitude. In fact, I want to do a circle share, if possible, of gratitude. Whether you're with me on Facebook or whether you're with me here on Instagram. Oh, thanks for the wave. Hi. <laughs> um, let me know what you're grateful for because I know I am struggling with this pandemic. I, uh, <laughs> I know we all are in our own ways and different ways. For some reason this week, I will admit, it's hit me a little harder than... I expected, and before I get any DMs, don't worry, like I am good, I am solid, so I'll actually start with my gratitudes. You know, I'm grateful for this beautiful kitchen in this beautiful home. I'm grateful to have healthy children, healthy husband, healthy body. I'm grateful to be here with you tonight. And so, tons of gratitude. I'm just really ready for the next step. <laughs> the post-pandemic life. Um, but in the meantime, I would love to hear from you. What are you grateful for? Let's see, I'm checking on Instagram right now. Looks like we've got Steven, Dr. Dre. Do you two have anything that you're grateful for that you wanna share to kinda lighten our mood and lift the vibration? And yes, that is one of my tricks. Hopefully it works for you all at home as well. That if you are feeling a little low, just get up, turn on some music or <laughs> sing your own song and have a little spontaneous dance party and shake the hips. One of my teachers, Sonia Choquette, actually taught me that. She says, uh, once you shake your hips, that's when the spirit gets in and you have no other choice but to be happy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Dr. Dre says she is grateful for her health and her beautiful family. Love it. Steve is saying he's grateful for his hot water. <laughs> Well, thank you, Steve. I'll, uh, I'll get that message to her right away. <laughs> so awesome, look at that. A little bit of dancing, a little bit of gratitude, a little bit of woo -woo, happiness, and we're there. The energy has risen. So, hello, and welcome to Let's Make Some Smoothies. We are going to make two different types of smoothies tonight. If you want more recipes, of course, go to michellefox.com forward slash food, and I've got a few fun recipes there. Um, check back often, because I often get these ideas. Like just this morning, I made this really super delicious, let me see, what was it? I called it a lemon, well, you know what? I'm not gonna give away my secrets yet. You'll just have to go to the blog and find out. But I will give you the hint that uh, Hubby was a taste tester, and he gave it two thumbs up. So that's coming. But tonight, we are going to make two of my favorite smoothies, which are named after two of my favorite girls. Uh, we're making the Kissed by an Angel smoothie to eat, and I did say eat. We'll talk about that a little bit more, but we're gonna chew our smoothies as we eat them. Uh, and then we're also gonna make our Lemon Lucy Sunshine smoothie, and that will be food prep, two of my favorite words, food prep for tomorrow morning's breakfast, or lunch, or snack, or however you prefer to enjoy your smoothies. So, let's dig in. And actually, as I do my little shoulder shake, <laughs> let me make sure I got all the notes in before, because you know I get so excited about my nutrients and my vitamins and my whole foods. All right, so our first smoothie that we're going to make in the blender. You can see I keep caressing my Vitamix. <laughs> I am really kind of obsessed and in love with her. Sorry, hubby. Close your ears. Ear muffs. But um, I use this Vitamix probably two to three times a day. And don't worry, they don't sponsor me. I wish they did because I would ask for more carafes or carafes or however you pronounce it so that I wouldn't have to wash it so much. But <laughs> uh, it makes awesome soups and awesome smoothies, and that's what we're gonna get into. So, our Kiss by an Angel smoothie, if you want to follow along, again, go to michellefox.com forward slash food, and you'll see the recipe or the link for the Kiss by an Angel smoothie, and we will just dig right in. So, first ingredient is 
one cup of an alternative milk. So my favorite is actually almond milk because it's filled with extra protein, which I love, and it's very slightly, um, like there's just a slight taste to it. Like it's not gonna change the dynamics of anything you're either cooking or baking with. And you see this uh, gallon, kind of like the old fashioned gallon? It's because I made it. So feel free to DM me, put it in the comments if you ever want me to do a show on how to make your own milk. I can tell you almond is one of my faves um, for the protein content, but uh, the cashew milk is probably my extra fave because it's extra creamy and it has a little bit of sweetness to it, so I kind of feel like I'm getting away with the sweetness there. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do one cup of the alternative milk. Again, mine is almond milk, which is what I made two days ago, so that's about a cup. I'm just going to eyeball it. We're not baking, so it doesn't have to be precise. And in my culinary nutrition kitchen, it never needs to be perfect. It just has to taste really good. But more important, it has to be really good for our bodies. So we've got the milk. And um, you can probably hear Chloe dog in the background. So babe, if you're still on and if you can hear my voice, would you mind grabbing the dog and letting her out, please? <laughs> Thank you. All right. So one cup of alternative milk. And then we've got our half cup of filtered water. And yes, I did say filtered water because we don't want all the extra chemicals and extra stuff that can be in the regular tap water. We don't want that in our bodies. All right. And then uh, I put on the ingredients one pitted date. And I'm actually on a sugar cleanse. So I'm not going to put the date in mine because it's a little too sweet, but it tastes so amazing. <laughs> and I want to show you that, um, actually, we're going to take a little doggy break. Um, babe, would you mind um, turning that off because I'm getting a lot of feedback oh. from your phone. <laughs> I know you're helping with the dog, which is awesome. I so appreciate it. Well, we'll just take a break. We'll take a little, like I said before, the spontaneous dance break. <laughs> I'm always happy to dance with my date. <laughs> All right, so what I wanted to show you is most dates come full. This is a medjool juicy luscious that I'm like salivating over and I will definitely be saving it uh, for actually Monday. Our dry February, which is our sugar-free, alcohol-free February will be over uh, midnight this Sunday. And that's, you know what, I actually probably should do a live on that because that has been a really interesting experience this time around. We've typically done them in September, and so to do it in February, I was thinking, oh, it's the shortest month, no problem. Uh, yeah, well, doing it during a pandemic, uh, it's given me a lot of pause and a lot of uh, <laughs> thoughts about how we can do it better and how I can be more kind to my body as well. So again, another subject, another time. Let's stick with the smoothie. All right, so I wanted you to see this date. Let me get it a little bit closer. Um, and the pit, because I learned the hard way. <laughs> uh, one of the first times I tried to use a date, I just put the whole thing in, and even this very powerful Vitamix was like, uh-uh. Like, it just sounded like a rock was going in there, and it didn't even get a dent. So when you get your dates, if they still have their pits, please just squeeze it open in half, as you saw, pull out the pit, and put it to the side. And again, I'm putting my date to the side. Put yours in if you can handle the sugar content because the dates are so amazing and are amazingly high in magnesium and in iron. So uh, some good nutrients that we want inside of our bodies. One handful of spinach. Look at her, look at her. I don't know if you've seen any of my photos on Facebook or Instagram lately, but I did an amazing amazingly fun photo shoot with uh, Kate Swithers and we had spinach all over the floor and for my OCD friends I think it was a little bit challenging to see but <laughs> today I'll keep the spinach in the hands and then in the blender and then ultimately in the body. No spinach on the floor today. All right so I did a handful. We're gonna do one tablespoon unsalted pumpkin seeds. You gotta have a moment for the pumpkin seeds. Hello. That's so much gorgeous, delicious, yummy protein, and healthy fat, and more magnesium. Can anybody tell me why we want magnesium in our bodies? And I'll just give you a moment, especially as I'm learning this new system on Facebook. I saw something pop up. 
Let's see. Oh, Denise just said, dance with my date. You like that? <laughs> Thanks for, you know, catching on to that one. And welcome. Thank you for being here. D. And then, anybody want to tell me about magnesium? Well, I can tell you. It's awesome to uh, help with anti-inflammatory anti agents. It helps for sleep. I actually take a magnesium supplement at night to help me sleep. And it's really good to nourish our joints, nourish and repair our joints. So that's why we want magnesium in our food, in our bodies. All right, our next step is one tablespoon coconut oil or coconut butter. So I love coconut oil. Not everybody does, so if you don't love the taste of coconut, don't use it, it's all good. A substitute I would probably use for another healthy, brain-supportive fat fuel. I would suggest ghee might be good in this recipe to get that kind of buttery, yummy flavor with the chocolate which is coming up and the cinnamon that's coming up. So that's a perfect flavor. Um, but mine tonight is going to be more of a chocolatey, coconutty flavor. So we're just going to put this in. And yes, I'm using my finger. However, I will tell you a girlfriend of mine, I watched a video of hers actually almost a year ago. And she was putting almond butter into her smoothie and she took a spinach leaf and just wiped it off the spoon. And I'm like, that is genius. It keeps your fingers clean. But you know, this is olive oil, so it'll help moisturize my hand. So I'm all good with using my finger. And again, that, or excuse me, coconut oil. Uh, and again, we want that very healthy fat that is brain supportive and nutritive to our body. With that said, I should have probably started at the top saying, any meal you have, whether it's a snack or a full meal, we always want to make sure that it has a healthy protein, a healthy fat, and a healthy fiber. So in this smoothie, the spinach is serving as our healthy fiber, the coconut oil, and we're about to get into the avocado, are our healthy fats. <laughs> the collagen we're using and also the protein powder. So, we'll get to that in a minute. Next, we've got, so we did the coconut oil, and now we're down to the chocolate protein powder. The namesake's favorite part, Angel Face, my daughter, is probably the biggest chocoholic that I have ever met. And so, again, that's why this shake is <laughs> named after her. So we're gonna put in one scoop and earlier a girlfriend asked which brand I like, and I will tell you, I actually love Orgain. Um, it was recommended to me by my Western doctor and also my acupuncturist. So to have both sides say this is good stuff, is good stuff. So it's the keto brands. So I put one scoop of the chocolate powder and then the collagen. This is the brand I really like, it's the Great Lakes, the collagen hydro, hydrolysate. Yeah, we're just gonna go with that. And each of the scoops in, this, in these brands that I'm using are actually 10 grams each. Um, and everybody's body requirements are going to be different. So obviously check in with your doctor, with your naturopath. My uh, health practitioners have told me that I, from my body size and composition, I need a minimum of 20 grams of protein. So these give me my boost when I make my smoothies. All right, maca powder. She is the goddess of food, nutritive, supportive supplements. <laughs> uh, so maca, look it up if you're curious. Well, in particular, curious in balancing your hormones, um, male and female. Maka is the goddess in balancing hormones and balancing moods. So I need some of that. So I'm putting my tablespoon in. Put that there. And half teaspoon cinnamon. Can anybody tell me what the benefits are of cinnamon? Just even one of the like thousands of benefits of cinnamon. <laughs> I'm going to smell it while I give you a moment to type in there. 
But I understand if you have coconut fingers like me and you don't want to touch your screen. It's all good. Ugh. Yeah, a, a little aromatherapy moment. All right, let's see. Gina says, hi, love. Yes, smoothies. Yes, Gina. Hello, love. So great to see you. And Dr. Dre says they level our blood sugar. Yes, for the win. And that's why I typically use the cinnamon is to balance my blood sugar. And let's see on Facebook. D says it's anti-inflammatory. Right on. Nicely done. Nicely done. I've got my healthy crew with me today. All right. And so then next we have, it says either half of a banana or half of an avocado. As I mentioned earlier, I've been doing the dry February. And so I'm not doing any fruit. So for my smoothie, I'm not going to do the banana. For the kiddos, I typically will because, of course, they like the sweetness. Um, but the avocado actually, in my opinion, is more nutritive and it has a very similar consistency and texture as a banana. They're both loaded with potassium. So that's what we're going to add tonight in my smoothie. You do you. If you prefer the banana, go for it. I won't judge you. At least not to your face. <laughs> so now we've got the avocado. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the camera now. <laughs> it, well, it's an evening show, but you know, it's all good. So we've got our avocado. And I'm just going to scoop half of it in. And this smoothie is for one serving. If you're cooking for a housemate and or a family, obviously, just make the adjustments accordingly. All right. And then last, a quarter cup of ice. And the ice is um, optional. I typically don't use ice in the morning because, you know, I'm in Denver and it's usually cold. But I'm trying the ice tonight. And that's it for the Kissed by an Angel smoothie. So now I'm going to blend it. So feel free to mute me or, as my teacher, Megan Teltner, always says, just mind the noise. It'll be under 15 seconds. Here we go. Gina also said cinnamon is great for circulation. Amen, sister. Yes, it is. I'm looking forward to our conversation soon. I think for my clubhouse friends, Gina and I are talking about doing a clubhouse, chatting about sensuality and food and a whole lot of other yummy, juicy things. So. Stay tuned, we'll keep you posted. So, now, actually before I pour it, I'm gonna taste it to make sure I'm not missing any ingredients. Uh-huh. So yeah, Angel would love this. She would probably say she wants a little bit more sweetness. And for those of you who are cutting down on your sugar or wanting to cut down on your sugar, I would probably strongly suggest getting very comfortable with stevia, especially for smoothies because they blend in. You can't really tell. Some people uh, talk about the aftertaste with stevia, but with so much goodness and so much packed in, you can't really taste it. But you do get the sweetness, so it might need a little bit of sweetness. But I'm eating this. And so earlier, and I just said it again, I said that I'm eating my smoothie because digestion, as I'm sure most of us know, but just as a friendly reminder, but digestion starts in the mouth before it goes through our digestive tract. So let me do an actual sip, and I'm going to chew on the screen. Mmm. Mmm. Mama likes. 
All right, one smoothie down, one more to go. And Brooke just popped on and waved. Hi, Brooke, great to see you as well. So glad you're here. All right, and so this was a smoothie, again, either for dinner or for snack tonight. I hope you enjoy it. One of the fun things, if you've already had dinner or will have something else for dinner, you can make this exact smoothie, all the ingredients that went in there, you can turn it into ice cream. And here's how you do it. So you make the smoothie, put it in a glass container, freeze it for, I would say, an hour and a half to two hours. Sorry, it does take a little bit of time with some culinary nutrition, but you'll be able to eat it with zero guilt because you saw all the yummy, goody, healthy things that went into it. Uh, but after the hour and a half, two hours, you pull it out, put it in your food processor, and it's gonna come out the consistency of chocolate ice cream. And who doesn't love that? So there's that option. The next thing we're gonna talk about is food prep. Again, two of my favorite words in the world because I am the efficient one <laughs> and I like things organized and I don't like rushing around in the morning. So this is gonna be my breakfast tomorrow morning. And this is going to be the Lemon Lucy Sunshine Smoothie. So doesn't that just sound amazing to wake up to in the morning? We're gonna have some sunshine to wake up to. <clears throat> and just so I don't forget to say it uh, at the end, the smoothie we're making now, I'll be putting it in the fridge and then blending it up in the morning. But you very well could food prep your entire week of smoothies for, again, breakfast, snack, whenever you wanna eat it, and just put it in the freezer. You can, all the ingredients we're about to put in our freezer container, whether it's, you know, this is a Vitamix cup. You can get creative, like we save our pickle jars. Um, I often food prep and store food in a recycled pickle jar. Or if you wanna invest and spend money, you can get the ball jars. Like, these are perfect for food prepping. So you do what works for you, but make it work. Your body is begging you to get these nutrients in. So without further ado, let's get some Lemon Lucy sunshine going on. So one lemon juiced. I don't know if you have the old fashioned juicer like me, or if you have the very fun Nuevo lemon juicer. I actually learned this from my friend Amy Smith who's on with us. So thank you Dee for the tip because this has been a time saver in the mornings. <laughs> so we're just gonna take one lemon and this is actually a gimme. Let's see, I need at least two people to tell me what is the biggest vitamin that the lemon provides? I'm gonna pause. I'm also gonna slice it while I'm waiting. But I wanna know, what vitamin is this loaded with that we all need right now? Steven answered, yes, let's see. He answered on, Fa or excuse me, on Instagram. Let's see if anybody on Facebook's gonna tell me what vitamin that I'm dancing with right now. All right, Dr. Dre just answered, yes. So we've got two of the correct answers on Instagram. Oh, and Lori, Sh excuse me, Lori Shakespeare for the win on Facebook. Nicely done, yes, the vitamin C, we're hooking it up. So I just put my half of a lemon there and the other half is going in. This is our sunshine. I know vitamin D, we actually get it from the sun, but lemons, I mean, just even smelling them, you know I always have to take a moment for the aromatherapy for lemons. That's just my favorite aromatherapy ever. Uh, but this is what makes me feel like sunshine in the morning. And that vitamin C, of course, is anti-inflammatory. And it's going to keep the colds away. So, starting with our one lemon juice, whether you did it the old-fashioned way or the new way, or just squeezed it in all fancy with your hand, just get the lemon juice in there. <laughs> <laughs> One cup filtered water. Oh yeah. And then half cup full fat coconut milk. Again, another healthy fat. So let me take a sip of water real quick. Well, one, this is the first time I found these cute little jars. 
I found these at Sprouts. I typically get the like 14 ounce cans, uh, the Sprout brand. And you know, I never love cans. So if any of my friends know where you can find full fat coconut milk that's in glass would be much better or something else that's more earth friendly, I'd be grateful. But for now, this is the only way I know how to get healthy, full fat coconut milk in my body. So we're just gonna take this and be really kind and gentle. Hopefully you haven't uh, poked your spoon in there yet because the fat typically raises to the top and then it's more liquidy at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go very slowly <laughs> as I mix our coconut milk together so that it doesn't get all over my body. Again, another lesson I learned the hard way. <laughs> I didn't know that there was so much liquid at the bottom. Now I know, and now I take my time and mix it in together. All right. So, you want about half cup, and again, this is gonna be a single serving. If you're making two, make a full cup. And then also if you're food prepping multiple, put it in your other jars. With that said, coconut milk freezes just fine on its own if you want it to store it for another time. Uh, or I just typically keep it in the fridge because I use it at least three to four times a week. All right, so I'm pouring in my healthy fat, about half cup of coconut milk. And then the secret sauce, besides the gorgeous lemons, are the, is the vanilla extract. Let's add flavor because when we're eating healthy food, we all know we need to eat it, but I think sometimes the reticence to eat healthy food is because it doesn't always taste good. So let's make it taste good. You're not getting any more calories or um, any sh blood sugar raise. Like this is a very neutral additive. So it's uh, one tablespoon of vanilla extra. It just tastes so yummy. It tastes like dessert. Like this, this whole thing makes it uh, taste like lemon custard to me. And similar to the chocolate shake, you can freeze this and make it into a lemon ice cream later if you'd like. Um, but we're gonna make lemon smoothie for breakfast. All right, so we've done the lemon, we've done the filtered water, the coconut milk. This one gets the other half of the avocado. So one fun trick that I learned, actually I think from the hubby, was with the avocado, oh good, both screens can see it. You just make, ooh, like a cross. So I just did one, ooh. Yeah, that's a very official culinary nutrition sound, or word for, uh, the sound, and then you do a cross, and then you wiggle, wiggle, and you get the seed out like that. So it makes it really easy to pull that out. And then I'm going to just put the scooped avocado into this deliciously aromatherapy smelling smoothie. Our aromatic. Lemon Lucy. She comes home this weekend, so I'm very excited to see her and her brother and her stepsister. All right, getting all that goodness in there. And now we're gonna use the vanilla protein powder. Same brand, the Orgain Keto, for those of you who just joined me. And I know we have some veggie, I call you, I call my vegetarian friends, my veggie friends. Uh, I say that with love. Um, this is uh, not vegetarian, but it is really delicious and really healthy for those of us who choose to eat uh, animal protein. So it will have, for this brand, one scoop will be 10 grams of protein. Put that in there. And the collagen, again, same thing. The Great Lakes is what I really love. I found this on Amazon. That's where I purchased my collagen. And collagen is amazing for um, muscle repair and part of our building blocks to our bodies. So we've got the collagen, we've got the protein powder, another handful of sugar, er, sugar. <laughs> you can see what's on my brain. <laughs> Let's try spinach, another handful of spinach. 
I'm just gonna stuff that in. And then the last ingredient is the ice. So because we are storing this for tomorrow's breakfast, we're gonna wait and put the ice in after the fact. And so that's it. I will just grab my lid, put it on, and then put it in the fridge. And so it'll be ready to go. So tomorrow morning, I will have five minutes less of work to do while I get ready for my day. So today's uh, talk slash workshop was a really easy, simple thing to do and uh, not a lot of time. So I hope this encourages you to continue to make great choices for your body. Um, if you have been making food while I've been talking, I would love to see what you've created if you're on Instagram today. I'll do another one of these lives March 11th. Let me double check, it's on a Wednesday next month. Oh, sorry, March 10th, same situation. I'm thinking I'm gonna make a soup. I just recently learned a really yummy curry lentil soup. And that one will be friendly for all my veggie friends and all of my meat eating friends as well. So that'll be really fun. Um, and speaking of which, for more events, of course, come to michellefox.com forward slash events and I'll keep you posted there. But if you do wanna show anything, let me just, Double check. I'm happy to share the screen. And also let me double check my notes, make sure we didn't forget anything. I do want to just reiterate that tonight's smoothies, the Kiss by an Angel smoothie and the Lemon Lucy Sunshine smoothie, filled with vitamin C, vitamin K, iron, magnesium, and potassium just as a few nutrients. So if in doubt, when you're getting those like munchies, instead of grabbing for the stuff that's not gonna make you feel so great, maybe just consider making a smoothie and get creative with it. So that's it. I am so honored to be here with you all. Thank you for having me in your homes. Thank you for shedding some of your sunshine in my world. I'm super, super grateful. I will see you guys on the other side. Love you.